Hi, my name is Gary Khan. I'm the executive chef of Landmark London. Welcome to my workplace. Please come follow me. So my role at the Landmark London is I oversee all food production within the hotel. A typical day for me in the hotel is very varied. It's from overseeing menus, overseeing food purchasing, um, working with my team, team development. Every day is different and that's what makes this role very, very exciting. My career started off initially with me aspiring to be an engineer or a draftsman. My father was working as a pastry chef and I took a bit of a turning point um, and decided to um, go into hospitality. I was seeing what my dad was doing, I liked what he was doing and I thought that being a chef would be the right thing to do. So I started catering college after I left school which was Westminster Kingsway College and I did two years full-time and after that I started full-time employment at the age of 18 after a very successful work placement and since then I've been working in predominantly five-star hotels um, my entire career. Um, I've worked in the USA for a year um, but predominantly in London. So what I look forward to each day at the moment is having some lunch in our newly refurbished staff restaurant. We've got fantastic facilities now um, I've got a great staff chef and just enjoying the food, sitting down with some of my colleagues and catching up. The advice I give myself um, for the first week of starting a job is um, predominantly to get a, a piece of paper, a pen, and to listen to all the information that I'm getting and write it down. There will be a wealth of information that you're going to get and just absorb that information. So the greatest moment in my career was cooking for the Queen and for the Royal Family for a state banquet at the Landmark um, and that was in aid in honour of the South African High Commission. It was an amazing moment for, for the team and for the hotel. I mean, um, and that would have been on, for an event. Um, we have obviously a varied um, type of guests for a varied type of events. Um, and we do lots of menu tastings where we have to cook dishes through uh, to ensure that the guests are happy with what they're going to receive on the night for whether that be for, f for an event for 50 people or for an event for 500 people um, and, and that's what we do and, and after that menu tasting you know I sit down with the guests we'll go through the dishes and to, to ensure that the guests are happy with what they're getting. So what excites me about my role is that two, uh, no two days are the same. Um, my role is very rare, varied um, and it could be from writing menus to sourcing new to suppliers, working with different produce, looking after team members. Uh, uh, you know, we have a, a, a large team in the kitchen um, and you know, we need to develop that team and so we need to spend time with them, we need to work with them. You know, I also think that um, there's a huge opportunity um, to work internationally. Um, I've been very fortunate enough to, um, to work abroad. I spent a year in the States, um, which was amazing. I did it at a very young age. Uh, and again, um, those opportunities, opportunities exist within hospitality, um, but you have to go looking for them and you have to work hard um, to make it happen. So my work superpower is um, organisation um, and whether that be organising people or products or stuff, it doesn't really matter, um, I'm particularly strong on that and my job really needs that um, and really that leads into making stuff happen. My perfect day in three words is smooth as silk. Well three questions somebody needs to ask themselves if applying for a role in hospitality is why are they applying for the role? Have they got a can-do attitude? Um, that's very, very important. And have they got the determination to push themselves, learn and develop, and ultimately to see it as a career long-term? Biggest challenge in my role is to keep everyone happy and that everybody is the guest who's paying the bills, the stakeholders, the old owners of the business and my team. I think the biggest rewards of my role um, is working with people but more importantly is 
watching those people um, develop as chefs, as um, people in general, and coaching them, mentoring them, working with them, um, and literally, literally assisting in their development. Um, and then watching them move on to bigger and better things uh, further down, further in their careers. So I think that's the most satisfying thing um, with working in hospitality. I think the, the thing about hospitality that puts a smile on my face is you really never know what's coming around the next corner. So we've spoken about the day being very varied and it, and it is varied. Um, and I think I have a little motto in my own self is always, unex always expect the unexpected. Um, and that can put one a little smile on the face. I think there are some perceptions within the hospitality change that need to change and I think the hospitality um, industry is working hard for that. But let's be clear, it's not just hospitality that has its pros and cons and challenges. Um, and if we talk about work-life balance, I think um, that's a, a, a topic within all industries now that um, people are trying to improve upon. I think for hospitality, um, it's a perception that your work-life balance um, isn't as great as what it could be. Um, I think hospitality are, have recognised that and we're all making steps towards um, making a better future. So for example here at the Landmark um, we've um, started to look at and have implemented the party positions and below a four day week to try and give something back um, to the industry and to try and attract more uh, talent uh, and to be able to retain that talent. So that's high on the priority list. I think one of the surprises about a career in, in hospitality is, is people don't necessarily understand what opportunities are available to you. Um, and if we just take a, a workplace like this hotel and the variety of roles um, and positions that are within this hotel, um, does, does everybody really understand the depth and the variety of, of those positions. So um, whether you're interested to cook or whether you're interested to be an engineer or whether you're interested to be a housekeeper, um, you know, we could go on forever and ever. It, there's a huge variety. I think there's enormous opportunity for um, personal growth and development. Um, and I think if you're willing to, to work hard and, and to give some commitment, not only to the hotel, the workplace or to, for yourself, I think you can be very, very successful. So I was very lucky I didn't really have any misconceptions about the industry uh, before I started working as a chef. Um, my dad was a pastry chef and we had many a conversation about life working as a chef and um, I think I was very fortunate in that regard because he painted a very clear picture for me. Um, but I also think, you know, about any industry one joins, um, you really won't know what you're getting yourself into and the, the whole details of the role until you're actually in it. So I think the piece of advice that I can give you um, as a school leaver or college leaver wanting to come into hospitality is go for it. I think it's a fantastic industry to be uh, in. Um, huge amounts of opportunities, huge amounts of varied sectors uh, from you know hotels to restaurants to bars to clubs to I know, working for the armed forces, uh, it's just endless. Um, and I think you've just got to be bold and brave and just dive in.